hunting with my Equinox 800 and uh, see what we come up with. I'm on my way up to Wisconsin and I stopped here in Missouri. I'm going to hunt with them today and head up to Wisconsin tomorrow and then come back down here next week and hunt with them again. So let's see what we can get. Well, out here on a vacant lot today that we just uh, got a permission for, but Missouri Mike, he's right down there. Jeff, Plugmaster's right over there. And uh, got this corner lot. It's an old house, used to be here. And uh, hunting with my Equinox 800 and uh, see what we come up with. I'm on my way up to Wisconsin and I stopped here in Missouri. I'm gonna hunt with them today and head up to Wisconsin tomorrow and then come back down here next week and hunt with them again. So let's see what we can get. You're gonna have to edit that. <laughs> nah, nah. Jeff just came over and just uh, got this lock right here. That looks kind of old. Three lever, skeleton key. Yeah, check that out, skeleton key lock. That's a great start. That is, that's a nice find. Congratulations, you, man. Hey, there's stuff out here. Well, I got my first decent signal. It's bringing up a, a solid 12 and got a uh, silver plated spoon. I'll take that. Uh, at least it's some old stuff in here, so let's keep on going, see what we get. Jeff's getting the signal over here. Let's go see what he's got. There was an old house here at one time. Ah. Awesome, how deep was that? Right here, see the imprint? Oh yeah, about four or five, about five, five inches. Yeah. Awesome. Jeff got him a Indian head, what year was it? 1893. 1893 Indian head. There it is. Well, good job, Jeff. Thank you, sir. That's a good patina on it, too. Yeah, it. All right. We know they're in here. Let's go find some. We're in the hut now. Well, I'm on the board with a wheat penny. I don't think they've gotten one yet, but we're in the in the hunt for the most weedy and become the weedy king at the end of the day. So, uh, bringing up a 21-22. I can't read the date on it. It, uh... Looks like a 19, 1916, it's the old one. So that's good, Jeff just dug that Indian head. So, hey, that's number one, let's keep going. Just beside that wheat penny, I got another 28 signal and it was just under the surface, but I, I, I dinged it with my, with my uh, shovel. So, uh, I don't know what this is. Let's uh, let me clean it up and I'll uh, let me get back with you. It's going to be nothing. Uh, it's it's hold. I thought it might be something because it was hold, but it's it's slick on both sides. So oh well, let's keep on going. Jeff and Mikey and uh, look at that. That's number two. I don't know if they've dug any yet. But uh, this Texas boys after those two Missouri boys and another wheat penny there. It's got some good green patina on it. That's going to be an older one there. Looking for that Indian. I can't tell. The other was like a 1916, but I'll clean them up later and see what they are. But hey, that's number two. Let's keep on going. You can tell we're on some old property here because this is the old uh, hitching post <clears throat> to the sidewalk. <clears throat> That they tied their horses up on so you don't see those every day i was getting a 15 just popped it out of the hole it's right there it's going to be some type of a little decorative leaf probably part of a looks like a part of maybe a necklace or a charm i've dug these before they're old but hey i'll take it got some good relics all right let's keep on going well, it's getting a like solid 28 at about four inches. And check this out. See it right there? That's silver. I wonder what it is. Let me call the other guys over here and see if they want to film this as well. Hey guys, what is it? Is that no. I don't know their hand signals yet. I was doing that. That was that's Indian. I think this is silver. So. Uh, yeah let me get to my other camera and we'll get a close-up we can find oh we found it yes yeah, right there you know what it is. is 
solid 28 on the Equinox. I already tell what it is. And uh, it looks like a barber, doesn't it? No. No? What is it? It's a Merc. It's a Merc? Oh, come on, let it be a barber. You want me to pull it while you... Yeah, pull it while... You got, do you want some... Uh... It's called Squirty Squirt. Yeah. Since you don't think it's a barber, we want you to bring out the holy water. All right, let's get the Squirty Squirt on this and see. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's look a little bit more. Yeah. Hey, I don't want you to see. Boy, I don't know. No, it's a Merc. I see it right there. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's a Merc. Don't get... So, oh, it's in good shape. Man, is it a 16D? It's got great toning, too. Can you zoom? I can't tell on mine. Can you zoom on yours and see what it is? <clears throat> good job, man. It is... Yeah, I should be able to tell. It is a... I can hold my hand still. 17, I think. Ooh, that's good. I do have two Wheaties yeah. I dug over here. One was a 1916 Wheatie. Did you? Yeah, they, I'm right. at two Come Wheaties right now. 17S. That's a good 17, that, oh, S is going to be a good, uh, yeah. a good, uh, good job, buddy. Yeah. Ooh. Good job. Oh, that's better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm on the board. So, I got two Wheaties too, so. I ain't got any. I don't either. And the early Wheaties, good patina. One's probably even earlier than the 16. Two Indians and a V. All right. Well, I'm on an Indian now. All right. There we go, guys. I'm on the board. On the board. With the first silver here. All right. This lot's paying off. Ring up a 28 on the Equinox. Wasn't that deep either. Maybe about three or four inches. All right. Let's keep going. I moved on from the corner coming back in this way. I got my Merc right over here. And in the backyard, <clears throat> I just dug this 25 signal up. Get out in the sun. It looks like it's going to be a Model T Ford valve stem cover. That's a good relic. I always like digging those. We'll add it to the collection. Let's keep on going. I was getting a good 20, uh, 39, I mean, 29 to a 30. Down there pretty deep, 6 inches. It's a Rexall something bomb. Kind of a, I don't know what that is. Kind of medication, ointment. Well, I'll clean it up later on in the wrap up and get you a good shot at it. All right, let's keep going. Well, I was just digging a 1213 real iffy signal and just popped it up. And it's going to be a V nickel. All right, check that out. Let me get my other camera and we'll get a close up. Best I can tell, it's going to be a 1906 maybe. I can't tell, it could be 1896. Um, it's in fairly good shape, it's pretty slick, but yeah, I'll take that. I haven't dug a V nickel in quite a while. I'll try to clean it up later and get a date on the wrap up. All right, let's keep on going. Maki, uh, oh wow, got him a ring. Check that out, guys. I think it's silver. What do you think? That yeah, that's gonna be silver. You wanna pop it? Ah, uh, silver plated. He's he's pulled, he's yeah, see how it's right there. Oh man. He's pulled pull tabs that he's had with gold. I think it's gonna be silver plate. Oh. You thought that was gold, Mike. I thought it was silver. He's got gold on his mind, doesn't he? Said he said gold. <laughs> Did he not say gold? He said gold. He said gold. Silver plate. Said it looks silver plated to me. I'll look on the bottom. Looks like it's coming off. <laughs> got him a got him a junker anyway. Yeah, the cool. stone was probably real. Yeah, I'm sure it was a diamond in the middle of it. Oh, hey, you got some jewelry though. You got some bling. K in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Let's keep going. And a real jumpy signal very deep down here look how deep that is that's about seven eight inches but i'm showing this to you because we're in a competition and i think jeff's got four i think i'm up to three now so i got to catch him a little bit he came over here in my territory and after i left and he done dug a v nickel and an indian head and another wheat penny so i missed those so all right let's keep on going all right underneath all these roots finally got it out of here it's gonna be a buffalo nickel go with my v nickel i dug a uh, jefferson earlier so i got a trifecta but it wasn't a, a war nickel or anything so uh let's go for a shield nickel 
All right, let's keep going. Yes, number four, Jeff. How many you got? I got four. Ah, tied up with Jeff now. Not counting this one. Oh, is that a wheat? I just dug my fourth weedy. Jeff's got four. I don't know how many Mike's got over there, but it's on. We're battling it out today for the Weedy King Trophy. All right, let's keep going. I was digging just right behind me is where I got that uh, 15, I mean that uh, 12 signal for that Buffalo nickel. And uh, just dug this out and it's gold plated and it's a stick pin. I just broke the pin off of it. It's down in the hole. And I don't know if you can see that. It says Olena, Olena. So it was a, uh, some type of little pin, name tag pin, like that right there. Let me get my other camera and get a close up on this. It's pretty neat. Yeah, there's a close up. It's really neat. Decorative, that's going to be very vintage. That's probably maybe early 1900s right there. Well, we moved on to another house. This house is uh, 1885. And Missouri Mike is there. And I think Jeff is back over this other way. I'm here in the front. And I just dug another weedy. I'm showing these. I, I don't usually show my weedies. But I am showing this because this brings me up to number five. And that puts me right now in the lead. And I'm beating Plugmaster. He has four. At least I think he. That's all he's got. Unless he's sandbagging a little bit. Alright, let's keep on going. Mm -hmm. 